Hi friends, today we'll talk about a physiotherapy profession and in this we'll see what a physiotherapist does, their importance in a society, career opportunities as a physiotherapist and we'll also be seeing what you need if you want to enroll yourself for a physiotherapy course. Physiotherapy is a healthcare profession concerned with human function and movement and maximizing physical potential. So an individual's movement and their functions, it can be threatened by aging, injury, diseases and disorders or due to some disabilities. So a physical therapist, they diagnose and treat these individuals. They'll be working towards improving, maintaining, and restoring their maximum level of movement and functions. And the interventions are non-pharmaceutical or surgical. They can also treat impairments that are associated with different systems of the body, such as the neuromuscular, that includes brain and the nervous system, the musculoskeletal, that includes anything related to your soft tissues, joints and bone, the cardiovascular and respiratory system, that includes heart and lungs, and also the integumentary, which includes the skin. So, whenever a patient visits a physical therapist, a physiotherapist does a comprehensive examination and assessment of the patient. Then they'll make some clinical judgments and formulate a diagnosis, prognosis and design a treatment plan. So these are some of the objectives and aim of a physical therapy treatment. So the most important and the foremost objective is to relieve pain. They help to reduce or manage pain and they help in improving your ability to move and improving your balance and they also helps in management of chronic illnesses like diabetes, heart diseases or arthritis and also in the management of bowels and bladder dysfunction. Now they not only help in the treatment of these conditions but they also have an objective in prevention and in rehabilitation in prevention of sport injuries or prevention of disabilities or in prevention of a surgery and in rehabilitation after a stroke, after an injury or a surgery. And they also helps to adapt to an artificial limb as well as they can help teach the use of assistive devices like walker and cane. So we'll see the eligibility criteria if you want to enroll yourself for a bachelor's in physiotherapy course. To pursue a bachelor's in physiotherapy, you need to have a higher secondary that is 10 plus 2 qualification where you have pursued a science stream with physics, chemistry and biology as a main subject. And you need a minimum aggregate score of 50% and 45% if you are SC, ST or OBC candidate. Now we'll see the course duration. So bachelor's in physiotherapy is an undergraduate course of four and a half years, which includes the rotatory six months internship. And after the completion of your bachelor's degree, you can also pursue an MPT that is Masters in Physical Therapy, which is of two years of course duration. And there you can get specialized in various departments such as orthopedics, pediatrics, in gynecology, community physiotherapy, and in sports physiotherapy. Now the syllabus. So these are the things which you will be learning in your four years of course duration. So in your first year, you have five theory and three practicals. So you have anatomy, biomechanics, physiology, sociology and psychology, and biochemistry. And you have practicals for anatomy, physiology, and biomechanics. And in your second year, you have four subjects and two practicals. So they are pathology and microbiology, pharmacology, electrotherapy and exercise therapy and you have your practicals in electrotherapy and in exercise therapy and in your third year you have five theory and two practicals so you have general medicine general surgery clinical orthopedics 
physiotherapy in orthopedics, physiotherapy in cardiorespiratory, and you have practicals in physiotherapy in orthopedics and physiotherapy in cardiorespiratory. And in your final year, you have five theory and two practicals. So you have clinical neurology and neurosurgery, community medicine, physiotherapy in neurology, community-based rehabilitation, and you have research methodology and biostatistics. And you have practicals in PT neuroconditions and community-based rehabilitation. Now, the importance of physiotherapy in a society. So, to deliver a highest quality of care which meets the complete need of a patient, it requires a teamwork or a collaboration of different health workers from a different professional background. So, a physiotherapist plays a key role in this interprofessional team. They can provide a direct service to the patient, they can help in the prevention and management of non-communicable diseases and lifestyle conditions. And they can help in the prevention of workplace injuries. They can increase your physical activity levels in infection control and for the well-being and health of mother and child. They can also work as an advocate in education and developing a healthcare programs as screeners in detecting a potential health problems as referees so they can provide a consultation whenever a patient has to be referred to another healthcare professionals. Now the job opportunities. So there are numerous career opportunities you can opt for as a physiotherapist. It is progressing to be one of the most demanding health professionals. So you can work in a large medical systems and hospitals, in rehabilitation centers, in community health centers, in nursing home and care facilities, in sport clinics and fitness centers. And apart from these, you can also become a clinical manager or a director and you can own your own private clinic. So this is all about the physiotherapy course. And for further information and inquiry, or if you want to enroll yourself for a bachelor's in physiotherapy or for your master's degree, you can contact the details given on the screen or you can also visit the website.